Hi everyone, Dr. Chiam here. In my daily work here in the clinic, I often encounter patients who have been troubled by the pigmentation issues for a long, long time. And a number of these patients may have had treatment somewhere else prior to seeking a consult with us and have not seen significant improvements with their previous treatments. And it's often through a thorough discussion that some of the reasons behind suboptimal improvement of the pigments can be found. And so here are five reasons why your pigmentation is not improving despite treatment. The first reason is sun protection. So we live in a hot and tropical climate, so it's very important that we have adequate sun protection in order for our pigmentation to improve with treatment. And having a broad spectrum sunscreen of SPF between 30 to 50 is important. And often in our climate, reapplication of the sunscreen at midday is required for adequate protection. Oral supplements such as colorless carotenoids or even topical vitamin C serums can help with minimizing sun damage to the skin. The second reason is the wrong laser. Not every laser can treat every type of pigmentation. And the wrong type of laser for your kind of pigmentation sometimes produces no improvement or may even worsen the pigmentation. And uh, it's important to understand that the most hyped laser on social media or advertisements may not be the right laser for you. And uh, it's of utmost importance that your doctor examines your skin properly and prescribes the correct combination of lasers and skincare to achieve good results for you. The third reason is hyperactive pigment cells. And it's important to understand that lightening pigmentation is a balance between the production of pigments and the removal of existing pigments. And if you are breaking down and removing pigments with lasers, but the pigment cells are still producing large amounts of pigment, the overall results of your pigment treatment will still be suboptimal. And the most direct way of reducing pigment production is often through medical grade pigment creams such as cystamine or hydroquinone. And there are some oral medications such as transamic acid, which are also useful in helping us control pigmentation in melasma. Of course, there are also other factors that cause hyperactive pigment cells, such as improper skin care, concurrent treatments that may be overstimulating your skin, as well as hormonal factors, and all these factors will need to be considered by your doctor. The fourth reason is inadequate treatment frequency. And as I mentioned, improvement of pigmentation requires a reduction in production of pigmentation, as well as an increased removal of existing pigments. Pigment creams alone generally take a long time to work because they only stabilize production of pigments. And treatments to remove pigmentation, such as lasers, will need to be done reasonably frequently at the start of any treatment regime in order to show results. If you're doing your laser treatments once every three to four months, it's unlikely that you'll see significant results with your treatment. And your doctor will assess your skin and make recommendations on the frequency of treatment suitable for your skin type. The fifth reason is underlying skin aging and sun damage. Many pigmentation disorders, such as melasma, they, these are often associated with other chronic skin problems, such as sun damage and skin aging. These conditions cause your pigment cells to be hyperactive and leaky, and they may cause your pigments to relapse frequently. There are some newer adjunct treatments, such as pulse radiofrequency microneedling, that have been shown to give good results in improving pigments even though they do not seem to have a direct effect on breaking up pigments. These treatments also give secondary benefits of firming and improved texture. So treating pigmentation can be an emotional roller coaster ride, and it's important to have an in-depth discussion and communication with your doctor to achieve the best possible outcome for your skin. I hope you have found this video useful. Do feel free to drop us a call or make an appointment for an in-depth consult and discussion of your skin problems.